<coughs> okay, first question, in the middle here. スポットライトの斉藤ですが、お二人に今日の勝因の一番の原因要因を教えてください。Oh, the game. Well, first of all,、um, I ran a test match、um, internally and with an our own,、um, our own squad. There was a lot of belief around what we what we were doing and what we were working towards. Then.、Um, We were able to display that today to you guys.、Um, obviously, the, the Irish team is a, a quality rugby side.、Um, but we have been preparing for this game for a hell of a lot longer than, than the Irish have. And I said to the players,、oh, we've been focusing on these last, or the these, well, today basically for the last year at least, and probably subconsciously the last three years. And Ireland have been thinking about us since Monday. So we felt we had a bit of an advantage in that. And we just needed to execute our plan, which the boys did. Yeah, I think it took a lot more than just the 23 guys out on the pitch.、Um, the management, everyone going out and training every day. And like Coach rightly said, There was a massive belief within the squad that if we focus on ourselves, that we can do something different. <coughs> NHK の中村です。えおめでとうございます。えー、守備のところで伺いたいんですけども、えー、特に後半は零点に抑えるというですね。まあダブルタックルもたびたび見えました。あの守備のところの評価を、えー、ジェミーさん、あのラピスさん、あのそれぞれお願いします。Yeah, well, I think technically you're accurate, and a big focus for us this week was to, to put two in the tackle, and、um, we knew how Ireland would come at us. They surprised us a bit with the kicking game and cross kicks、uh, to our wingers and caught us out a couple of times and scored a try, and so that was something that we had to adjust to.、Um, But teams all go. Teams, all teams go to a certain pattern under pressure, and、um, so you know when we got ahead, then the Irish tried to take us on physically, and I think mentally we were prepared for that.、Um, it's easy to say, you know, mentally you're prepared, you still got to make those tackles,、um, and there were some crit critical turning points within the game where the players just showed some real courage, really, and were able to hold out. You know. A, a very tough、um, Irish attack, and it's those moments in big games of rugby、uh, that, that that turn the game.、Um, so I'm pretty proud of our boys for doing that. Yeah, out on the field, you could. It was wave after wave、uh, coming at us, especially in the second half, and it took a special effort from everyone getting back in line, getting back up. So.、Um, Everyone knew exactly what we wanted to do, and、uh, we just had to go out there and do it. And I'm、um, just really proud of everyone. Massive effort.、Uh, Jamie,、uh, you said that、uh, you've been thinking about this game for a very long. To your right,、uh, you said you've been thinking about this game for a very long time. And Ireland only got tuned in on Monday. A little bit of disrespect from them, possibly that they didn't prepare for. Oh、longer. no, not at all.、Um, I mean, they're a, they're a great rugby team. Um, they played last week, and、um, they had a shorter week turn around than, than we did. We had an extra two days.、Um, they played a lot of test matches recently, you know, two against Wales and one against England. And they played a lot of rugby. They're professional athletes,、um, and our preparation window for the World Cup has been a little bit different.、Um, we've been training a hell of a lot, and I know the guys have been really looking forward to this. And so that's all I really mean.、Um, so when you think about a, What we witnessed tonight, which is you know nearly 50,000 people,、um, 40 of which were in red jerseys, you feel really proud as a coach and, and as a rugby team, and, and certainly didn't want to let down the country. And those things last week、um, against Russia、um, put us under a bit of pressure, really. But tonight really helped us.
、スポーツ日本の安倍と申します、えー、ジョセフヘッドコーチにお伺いしたいんですが、あの直前にあのトゥポー選手がまあ怪我ということで、メンバー変えた中で、あのメンバー発表の時にですね福岡選手はそのセレクションの外だというふうにおっしゃられたのが、実際にあのリザーブで出て、まあ、あれだけ活躍された、まあ、その辺のこの選手交代の経緯等々。あと福岡選手の状態、実際どうだったのか、教えてください。はい。Um, so we had an MRI last night and、uh, didn't show a tear. So then we tested him again this morning.、Um, but he wasn't confident that he could actually play a test match of that caliber with that sort of a injury. And we need, we need players going into a test match 100% you know, physically and mentally.、Yeah. Um, so then that put us into a situation where we,、um, so we, we had a plan to play Fukuoka next week against Samoa.、Uh, so we accelerated that plan. And,、uh, He became, he got on the bench. I mean, his performance,、um, I can remember when he first got that first touch of the ball and he, he hesitated, but I guess that's normal given the caliber of the, the, big,、um, the big moment in the match where he was on the stage.、Um, but he took the ball forward、um, and he got the breakaway. I think if he、um, had a bit of rugby under his belt, he would have scored that try. He would have had a bit more confidence to let strip.、Uh, but it's okay, you can do that next week. In the middle here, second row. Uh, Reuters News,、uh, Chris Gallagher, question for Jamie.、Um, so, before the tournament, you set as a goal making it to the last eight.、Um, after today's victory, it seems like that is very, very highly likely. Are you going to reassess your goal for this tournament? Where, where do you see your team going、uh, from here?、Um. Well, we've discussed that as a team, but at the moment we're just sort of really improving,、uh, really enjoying tonight's. I had no thought about you know, going any further forward.、Um, we can be in a situation where we could win tonight and lose to Scotland and miss out, so, and that's certainly what happened the last time, so we're, we're certainly not getting ahead of ourselves. b o y s will have a couple of beers tonight, no doubt, and then we've got some more ahead of us.、Um, We've got time for a few more. Yep. Yes. 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 And what, I, what I will say is, across the board, 1 to 51, which is basically what our total score is. And we call our team one team, and, and that's for a reason because it takes everybody in that squad to get a performance like that today. And when we can actually be so aligned and be coordinated,、um, whether our job is picking up the juices, putting the rubbish away, or, you know, like Shota, who had a, who had a marvellous game today,、um, it's Basically, the, the team culture that we have that gets us across the line in big games like tonight. So, that tonight,、um, and I'd have to say that every, this, this year he's been in great form.、Um, he's a quality rugby player, and so he's actually, like, physically、um, set piece is something that, and when I first came to Japan, it, it really wasn't his high priority list.、Um, he was. Renowned for his skill and his X Factor as a hooker, which is、um, not normal. <laughs>、um, but now he's been able to do the both. You know, he's got back passes, he's got kicks in and behind, he can hit like a flanker, he can jackal like a flanker, his work rate's like a loose air prop. So I think he's the ultimate、um, type forward, and he was a big reason why we performed so well tonight. In the back, please. <coughs> ヘッドコーチにお願いします、えー、前半、リーチ選手が出てきてから流れが変わったようにも思ったんですがリーチ選手に期待したなどういうことを期待してピッチに送り出したのかそしてリーチ選手の今日のパフォーマンスはどう,だどうだったのかお聞かせください。Um, 
I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the flow, but uh, when Leachy entered the game, because he's such a great rugby player, it obviously improved the confidence of our players. Um, our plan, obviously, as I said the other day, was to, to bring him on in a critical moment of the game. Um, admittedly, it was a little bit early because of an injury. Um, but it was at the right time in many ways, but just before halfway, um, we come to stand uh, we, in the half, half time. Um, all leaders need support. And so often he's out there stranded by himself. And but Lapis is there now, and Nugget is a good leader, and Timur is playing really well. And so it's that contribution from everybody where our players can actually concentrate and play their best. So with Leach coming to the game, it did add the confidence to the group. Um, yeah, and in our team, everyone just this was expected to do their own job, and um, that's what we did. Well, time for one more. Well, Rich, Rich Freeman. Yeah, Jamie, as you probably remember from 1999, the Japanese players always had the skill, but mentally perhaps they were lacking a bit. Where does that mental toughness come from in the last few years, do you think? Yeah, well, you'll have to work that out, mate. I, um, I think there's a number of things that we've been working on. Um, obviously, the coaches have a big input in around, and maybe you can ask that to Lepis, but... The coaches have a lot of input around um, creating um, leaders, guys who, in moments like tonight, can actually be confident enough to make decisions, execute skills, change the plan, um, be resilient, whatever it takes, really, to get the result. Um, and I think you witnessed that tonight. Um, so that's not a one-week project. <laughs> Um, so I think that's had a big part to it. And the selection is obviously we've been able to improve our squad and on, over the last year. Um, with Peter, he's coming to our team for this year, been eligible to play for Japan, and that's had contributed a different level of leadership for us and support for players like Michael, who, as I said, have been often isolated as the only leader. And I think a lot of it is how we've built our team culture around, um, I don't know, maybe... I think the words of quality are around getting everybody to contribute. Um, obviously, I'm the boss, and the buck stops with me, um, and the players understand that. Um, but I know you might have to ask Lepis. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our post-match media conference. The mix zone will be opening now. Please make your way out and to the left, around to the mix zone across the hall. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, guys. Well done.